Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and to another shopping vlog. This time is all about skincare. So I've partnered with Sephora at Kohl's today to do a little summer skin refresh. I'm the first to admit that I'm kind of boring when it comes to my skincare routine. If I find a product that I really like, I generally repurchase time and time again. But I've had the itch to try some new things. So I've been scrolling through the Sephora at Kohl's skincare selection, looking at all of the top rated products. I have read so many reviews. There are a few things that caught my eye. So I'm going to take you shopping with me and we'll see what we can find. I didn't know they had a mini version. I love this stuff. I just got back. Needless to say, the shopping trip was a success. I found some great stuff at Sephora and Kohl's had some amazing deals on loungewear and home decor. They had some really cute seasonal things. It's a little bit dangerous going shopping there, but I got some really great deals. So I'm excited about this bag as well. But of course the main purpose for the trip was skincare and I am proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and I cannot wait to try some of these new things. So let me show you everything that I have. These Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops have incredible reviews. I've been scrolling through reading all of the comments and recommendations. It's a tinted serum and I know I've tried the original just plain watermelon in the pink jar. It's been a couple years. I want to say I liked it, but it's not something that I continue to repurchase. But I like the idea of these because it gives the skin a really natural bronze glow. It's tinted, but it's a lightweight gel, not a cream. I've seen these demonstrated so much on social media, so I feel confident picking these up. It looks like it just glides on the skin and it blends out really easily and it looks beautiful beneath makeup. It looks very bronze. It's a little bit intimidating when you first pump it out. But as you keep blending, you can tell that it's very sheer actually. So as you blend this all over the face, it's gonna give you a little color, but nothing crazy. And the niacinamide is supposed to help brighten the skin as well. And it's supposed to be nice and hydrating. Ooh, and it has that watermelon scent to it as well. See, that's not so bad. It has a little bit of a tacky texture, which I think would be really nice beneath foundation. That way it acts as a primer. It's just going to grip anything that you put on top. Ooh. At the very beginning of the year, I mentioned that I was no longer using lash serums with prostaglandins. So I have been constantly searching for alternative formulas. And this has been on so many lists of recommended lash serums. It's from The Ordinary. It's called the Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. So it has peptides not prostaglandins. The reviews are really promising. People swear this has changed their lashes. Of course, it's something that I'm not going to see results overnight. I'm gonna have to test this over a couple months to truly be able to report back, but I'm excited. It's also the first product I've ever tried from The Ordinary. I also picked up a couple items from Kiehl's, which is a brand that I've used before. I feel very familiar with Kiehl's. There's a lot of products that I really love, but it's been a while, so I felt like I needed to refresh my memory. This I know I've used years ago, but I remember really liking it. This is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser with Amazonian White Clay. It says it exfoliates and detoxifies. If I remember correctly, I know there is a mask as well, but I'm pretty sure you can use this as a mask. You can apply a thicker layer on the face, let it dry down, and then rinse it off. I'm almost sure. Or just use it as a daily cleanser like it says, but I happen to be in the market for a new cleanser. I think I went through three or four consecutive bottles of the Youth to the People Superfoods Cleanser. I really like it, no complaints. It's still a 10 out of 10 product for me, no notes, but I did feel like I wanted to at least see what else was out there, try something different. I'm not sure if this is going to be a morning cleanser, evening cleanser, maybe both. 
It just sort of depends, but I'm excited to try this again. And the Clearly Corrective Daily Retexturizing Triple Acid Peel. I think this is going to be for my face, but I was really inspired to pick this up for my chest. I've talked a lot about all of the sun damage that I got growing up in Florida on my chest, and I've done three lasers. I exfoliate like crazy. I'm constantly applying you know, intense skincare products to my chest as well just to try to even out the skin tone a little bit. I like the idea of a serum that will help with texture that's gentle enough that I can use every single day, morning, night. It says it's clinically demonstrated to visibly refine texture and boost radiance for smoother, brighter looking skin. So it sounds like it's going to kind of do everything that I need it to do. It has 8.6% AHA, PHA, and BHA plus copper glutinate. And I am such a sucker for a new body butter. I have so many body butters. I really didn't need this, but it was one of those things that I saw it. I remembered how amazing this smells, so I picked it up. This is the Creme Decor Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. It has such an incredible smell, but the texture is amazing. Something about summertime just makes me want honey products. You know those fancy restaurants that serve you bread and butter before the meal and the butter is a whipped honey butter? That's what this is like. It smells so good and the texture is so nice. It does look sort of delicious. It almost looks like frosting in here. I cannot get enough. This smell is so beautiful and it really is lightweight on the skin. I was also thinking this would probably layer so nicely beneath my fragrances that have almond or vanilla, but honey as a note. Sticking with the honey theme, I also picked up this pharmacy lip smoothie in honey vanilla. It has vitamin C and peptides and it's a lip balm. I go to bed every single night with a lip treatment on and I'm almost done with my current Mango Laneige lip sleeping mask. Even though I have several backups already, I was just tempted by the honey vanilla, okay? Could you blame me? So I picked this up to be my next replacement and it smells so nice. I'm just gonna dip right in there. I have to try it, I just wanna see how this feels on the lips. Ooh, and I love the pharmacy products. Mmm, ooh. It melts really easily and it becomes clear, almost glossy, like a lip gloss. I love it. Ooh, the way it melts actually reminds me of the Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Balm. That's one of my all-time favorite products it melts down to a clear gloss. So actually maybe this will be more of a daytime treatment versus night. And the final product that tempted me with incredible reviews is this Goodbye Acne Max Complexion Correction Pads from Peter Thomas Roth. There were actually two different types of pads. I was looking at both. I really wanted to try something from the brand. I use a lot of the masks from Peter Thomas Roth, but I'm not really familiar with anything else. And this is one of those things, I'm not gonna necessarily need it all the time. I don't struggle with really bad breakouts as much as I used to, but every once in a while, especially if I'm coming back from a trip, maybe I'm just getting over a head cold or being sick, my skin gets really congested and then I don't really have anything that I can use. This is going to be my SOS skin is breaking out emergency solution, I'm hoping. It says fresh peach Bellini scent. They're medicated double-sided soft textured acne pads. They're basically like a toner pad with anti-aging benefits. So it's not just to target acne and it's going to help minimize pores as well. 2% salicylic acid, which is amazing. And then 10% glycolic acid complex, soothing arginine, alentoine, whole leaf aloe vera extract, chamomile, and green tea. That is all of the new skincare I picked up today from Sephora at Kohl's. Highly rated products, I cannot wait to test them. A couple of these things I might be able to try tonight, like the Ordinary Lash Serum, but I really wanna show you what this looks like beneath makeup. I really wanna test this out. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna go through my skincare routine. I already showered, washed my face, and I threw on this gray loungewear set from Kohl's. 
It is so cute and comfortable. In fact, I love these shorts so much. I went ahead and ordered them in two extra colors. I also picked up a few other tank tops as well. I love the set together. It's really comfy, cozy, and just perfect for throwing on to lounge around the house, get stuff done, to go for long walks around the neighborhood even. I think it is perfect. I used my new Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser with Amazonian White Clay. It exfoliates, it detoxifies, and I do think this is going to be perfect for mornings and evenings. This is really nice. And now I'm going in with this Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Daily Retexturizing Triple Acid Peel. It looks really watery and thin, so I'm just going to do a few drops, probably not even a, a full dropper. I don't think I need that much. Ooh, yeah, it's really watery. Probably just a couple drops in the hand would be the best way to apply. The name triple acid peel sounds a little bit intimidating, but I don't feel anything happening right now, which is a good thing, but no irritation, no burning. It doesn't have a funny smell. It doesn't really smell like anything. I'm even going to apply a couple drops on my hands and arms as well. And of course the neck and chest. I wanna get rid of all of this sun damage. I think one full dropper would probably be perfect for face, neck, chest, arms, hands. It's enough to spread kind of everywhere, everywhere you would want it. My lips are feeling a bit dry, so I'm going to apply the Pharmacy Lip Smoothie in Honey Vanilla. I did already try this and I love the flavor so much. Mm, that Honey Vanilla is so nice. And I actually think this is going to be really nice during the day. I love the gloss that it leaves on the lips. It's so pretty. We have to see what these are about. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops in Sun Glow. These look really bronze, but hopefully they'll give me some color. So I'm gonna start with just one pump. I think that's probably plenty. And then I'm going to quickly throw on a light makeup for the day and we'll see what this looks like. Honestly, what sticks out to me the most is not necessarily the hue, the color, it's how glowy my skin looks. I think if you have really dry skin, normal to dry skin, and you love a little extra glow or luminosity to your skin, I think you will love, love, love the hue drops. My cheeks look so plump and juicy. The skin is giving hydrated. I'm back with a light, fresh makeup for the day. All of the products went on so smooth on top of this skincare. So this is a pretty simple everyday makeup look for me. And then the last step is to give my body a little love. I'm going to apply my new Kiehl's Creme Decor Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. Applying my body lotion for the day is sometimes one of my favorite steps. Ooh, just look how bouncy it is. It honestly has the best texture. It's so bouncy and whipped, like whipped cream for the body and the scent is so nice. I'm really feeling so good about all of the products that I picked up yesterday. Goes to show that it is nice to switch things up every once in a while, try some new skincare products. Of course, I'm gonna have to test them over the next few weeks, but First impression is that I really like everything that I picked up. And the great thing about shopping Sephora at Kohl's, I know I've told you this so many times, but not only did I earn my Beauty Insider points, I now have over 500. I always save them. I like to wait until I hit 500 because then I like to redeem them towards a $10 credit for a future purchase. But I also earned Kohl's rewards. In fact, when I was shopping in store, I also got $10 in Kohl's cash, which I can use, I think, next week. I already know what I'm gonna use my Kohl's rewards on. I'm gonna pick up this little loungewear set in another color. It's truly the best loyalty program. That way, when you're shopping for your beauty favorites, you can find other things, and that way you get the best savings, the best bang for your buck, and even more points. I am now officially ready for the day, so that completes today's video and this skincare vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you sign up for the Kohl's Rewards Program. I will leave a link down below in the description box. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.